Lesson 96 Salvation comes from my one self. Although you are one self, you experience yourself as two, as both good and evil, loving and hating, mind and body. This sense of being split into opposites induces feelings of acute and constant conflict and leads to frantic attempts to reconcile the contradictory aspects of this self-perception. You have sought many such solutions, and none of them has worked. The opposites you see in you will never be compatible, but one exists. The fact that truth and delusion cannot be reconciled, no matter how you try, what means you use and where you see the problem, must be accepted if you would be safe. Until you have accepted this, you will attempt an endless list of goals you cannot reach, a senseless series of expenditures of time and effort, hopefulness and doubt, each one as futile as the one before, and failing as the next one surely will. Problems that have no meaning cannot be resolved within the framework they are set. Two selves in conflict could not be resolved, and good and evil have no meaning place. The self you made can never be yourself, nor can yourself be split in two, and still be what it is and must forever be. A mind and body cannot both exist. Make no attempt to reconcile the two, for one denies the other can be real. If you are physical, your mind is gone from your self-concept, for it has no place in which it could be really part of you. If you are spirit, then the body must be meaningless to your reality. Spirit makes use of mind as means to find its self-expression. And the mind which serves the spirit is at peace and filled with joy. Its power comes from spirit, and it is fulfilling happily its function here. Yet mind can also see itself divorced from spirit, and perceive itself within a body it confuses with itself. Without its function then it has no peace, and happiness is alien to its thoughts. Yet mind apart from spirit cannot think. It has denied its source of strength, and sees itself as helpless, limited and weak. Dissociated from its function now, it thinks it is alone and separate, attacked by mommies massed against itself and hiding in the body's frail support. Now must it reconcile unlike with like, for this is what it thinks that it is for. Waste no more time on this. Who can resolve the senseless conflicts which a dream presents? What could the resolution mean in truth? What purpose could it serve? What is it for? Salvation cannot make illusions real, nor solve a problem that does not exist. Perhaps you hope it can. Yet would you have God's plan for the release of his dear son bring pain to him? and fail to set him free. Your self retains its thoughts, and they remain within your mind and in the mind of God. The Holy Spirit holds salvation in your mind and offers it the way to peace. Salvation is a thought you share with God because his voice accepted it for you and answered in your name that it was done. Thus is salvation kept among the thoughts your self holds dear and cherishes for you. We will attempt today to find this thought, whose presence in your mind is guaranteed by him who speaks to you from your one self. Our hourly five minute practicing will be a search for him within your mind. Salvation comes from this one self through him who is the bridge between your mind and it. Wait patiently and let him speak to you about yourself and what your mind can do, restored to it and free to serve its will. Begin with saying this. Salvation comes from my one self. Its thoughts are mine to use. Then seek its thoughts and claim them as your own. These are your own real thoughts you have denied. And let your mind go wandering in a world of dreams to find illusions in their place. Here are your thoughts, the only ones you have. Salvation is among them. Find it there. If you succeed, the thoughts that come to you will tell you you are saved and that your mind has found the function that it sought to lose. Yourself will welcome it and give it peace. Restored in strength, 
it will again flow out from spirit to the spirit in all things created by the spirit as itself. Your mind will bless all things. Confusion done. You are restored, for you have found yourself. Yourself knows that you cannot fail today. Perhaps your mind remains uncertain yet a little while. Be not dismayed by this. The joy yourself experiences it will save for you, and it will yet be yours in full awareness. Every time you spend five minutes of the hour seeking him who joins your mind and self, you offer him another treasure to be kept for you. Each time today you tell your frantic mind salvation comes from your one self, you lay another treasure in your growing store. And all of it is given everyone who asks for it, and will accept the gift. Think, then, how much is given unto you to give this day, that it be given you.